Hello and welcome to Blockchain Gaming World with me, John Jordan. So uh, having a look at uh, Crypto Unicorns, which is a game um, I've not looked at. I don't think I've not done a video on this for a long time. Um, have sort of been playing it every so often. Um, so I've actually just actually recently just bought a few um, more assets. Obviously, the price of everything um, is very low compared to what it was at the start. Um, this is just how blockchain games are at the moment. Um, so. Uh, an interesting bit, the reason I'm doing a video um, is that a new feature has been added. So this is the farming bit. This is up to this point what we've what we've already ha what we've had. So you have to buy some land and then you can sort of uh, plant things um, and you have some unicorns or you can buy some unicorns or breed unicorns and then you can get the unicorns to do things uh, and you sort of get materials. So if we go to my inventory, I've got a bunch of stuff here. So sort of seeds and, and berries that I've grown from the seeds. Um, I don't have a lot of other stuff. There's sort of boosters. I've got some unicorns here. I've um, got four lands, as you can see, and various, various other things have sort of come in um, over time. Um, so, but this has been at this point, it's been a farming game. So, it's been a farming game, and you can sort of go to the marketplace. They've got these new unicorns, uh, unicorns, <laughs> new tutorials in here um, as well. So, there's been these sort of uh, items where I can buy um, with the in-game currencies, um, and occasionally, if I've got enough, so I could. I've got 415 plain berries, so I could sell those plain berries um, and I would get uh, 11.25 um, tokens. So there's a few things you can do there. So that, that's sort of been what people have been doing if they've been doing it. But now we have this new option, jousting. So jousting has come in. I've not actually done this yet. So let's see, let's see how, how it goes. So we have this new um, option that's always you know planned to have been there, which is um, uh, using the unicorns to have sort of, P, sort of PVP elements. Um, so um, there are these various things going on here. So here are um, some jousting uh, things going on here. Now it looks like, um, I don't think I've got a ticket, so <laughs> maybe I can't do anything. Um, so that'll be an interesting one here. Um, beginner tickets, no, I haven't got any of those either. Um, so, uh, and this one says no requirements, but uh, it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to do that. But let's, uh, let's see. Um, so, um, I would pick my unicorn, I'm guessing. So um, these are my, my unicorns. I don't really know which one's going to be any good. Um, we've obviously got all these. Well, you can see here various different sort of uh, metrics around that. It's energy based. So let's select that um, now. I don't have any tickets, so I could go and buy some tickets. So I guess that's the um, thing I need to be doing. So it's going to cost me um, 13 uh, rainbow, and I'm going to get seven of those. So let's um, let's do that. Probably I'll probably pause the video here because this will be a whole blockchain thing going on let's, uh, let's let's get some some tickets to see what we can do oh no so so this is the other thing i forget so this uh crypto unicorns has its own sort of layer two so so the main thing runs on polygon but then it, ha it runs on its own sort of layer two infrastructure so once you have these uh assets on you know it sort of runs on its own i mean it's decentralized but obviously more <laughs> more centralized than polygon okay so that went through without a transaction so that's good um, so I've got those. So now let's see. Um, so now the cost is going to oh, so it's going to cost me fifteen of these tokens, um, and one of these beginner tickets, and one energy. Um, if I have any boosts, I could do I could do that. Uh, I could boost them, but I haven't got any boosts. So um, okay. So let's confirm that I'm going to do that. Um, and um, I wonder what happens now. <laughs> um, oh, my just here. Oh, did I not join that one? Okay, maybe try it. Try again. Um, so this one is going to be expensive. So no, actually, we're not showing me. Uh, oh, so here we go. So this is my Trotter Cup. So I guess I'm sort of waiting for that to happen. I think. I'm guessing so. Um, so this one here. Oh, this shows what the what you win, isn't it? Okay, so this one here. Um, let's try this one, endurance edition. So, choose a unicorn. So, um, I need one with good endurance. So this one has two hundred and eighty. This one has three hundred and thirteen, and this one has three hundred seventy-five. So we're going to choose squiggly zero. I don't know if that's a good a good score. Anyway, um, so we're going to select squiggly zero. Um, so that's the endurance. Um, Oh, that's the rule, so it doesn't necessarily. I just need to have that amount of endurance. It doesn't necessarily mean that endurance is going to be an important factor. But anyway, let's go with it. So it's going to cost me fifty. I'm sort of spending my tokens quite quickly here. One ticket and one energy. Energy recharges over time. Um, 
So let's confirm old squiggly zero there. So now we can see, um, I guess, oh, what reckless means they're both reckless. Oh, I see. So what's going on here? We can see it's got to fill up. Um, so this one has 15. This one needs one more to, to happen. And this one needs a lot more. OK, so you sort of set them off. Oh, my Justin now live. Um, so uh, watch. We can see what's going on here. Um, oh, I see. So we're going to. OK, so you have wave one and then it goes through to the final. OK, all right. So um, I can't remember which one's mine. That's the problem. Um, absolutely no idea. It shows how what a terrible um, crypto unicorn owner I am. I can't remember which one's mine. Let's, uh, will it tell me here? Uh, it's that one anyway. Let's see if I can work out which one I, is mine. Um, that one, Pinstripe Jericho, it looks like. So let's have a look at if he's going to do his business. And uh, not looking like nothing. Oh, okay, here we go. Um, so they're just going to, I presume they're just going to bash into each other. Um, so it's obviously this is all pre-canned. It's just looking at the stats of the character. Um, and it looks like we're both reckless. So there's no advantage there. Um, and I just I guess they're going to sort of bash into each other. And uh, we'll see. We'll, uh... <laughs> so we can see from these jousting, you know, if you know what you're doing, you probably have a bit more chance. If you have better um, crypto unicorns, that's going to be better. You're obviously, you're spending the tokens. So there is this sort of, um, I guess, sort of, gambling I think uh, element I suppose um, so I won that round um, looking pretty good um, but it looks like it's going to be a uh, this is wave one there so it looks like there's going to be a few um, different waves um, best of three maybe obviously some randomness sort of coming into uh, this situation the other thing is if you want to win these I guess you're probably buying the um, the boosters if you really want to win this stuff so that was a draw um, Glancing blow, um, and uh, yeah, so it'll be interesting to see. I guess how the if the how, how the farm bit plays into it. Can you can you um, uh, can you farm some of these elements in the farm to sort of bring it together, or are these going to be totally different sort of modes? Because obviously, some people might want to. I won that one, so some people might want to joust and not bother with the farm. Um, so it looks like I won that one. So that's pretty uh, pretty good. Um, Next match, see what happens, see if the, my winning streak can continue. Um, I, and the other, I guess the important thing here is, oh wow, he's a dude, um, is how well do you have to be placed to actually win anything? Is it just the first, is it just the first place? Oh, he's got a boost. Oh, uh, what's he got what's going on here? He's clever and he's got some sort of, what's that show? He's got a speed potion. And I don't think we're gonna beat, um, oh, that's me though. No, that's not. Oh, okay, no, this is not. This is a totally different one. This is not my one at all. Okay, let's leave that. Um, oh, I see. So they do. They run all these. Then in five minutes. Then five minutes. Five minutes. Okay, so we're not going to watch all that. Um, let's. Uh, okay, so this one. Okay, let's come back here. So. Uh, and this one here. No, these all have requirements. I think we'll just leave it at that, otherwise it's going to go on too long. So there we go. So, so it's sort of a big, a big deal for crypto unicorns to have this new mode out. I, you know, as with all blockchain games, interesting times in the sense that, um, you know, I guess the people who are really committed are going to be sort of interested. But is this, is this going to be a mode that's big enough to sort of bring people in? I mean, if they do, assets are, I say, pretty cheap, but they're not. I mean, I think land, land, and entry level land and entry level unicorns are still about sort of fifty, fifty dollars. So it's not nothing. I mean, obviously, different to when I remember when the unicorns were a thousand dollars. I think maybe, maybe even one ETH. Would that be right? I can't remember. Roughly that sort of scale, you know, the, a year, over a year ago um, when, when everything was, was, was crazy. Um, but it's, one, it's just good to see blockchain games you know, bringing out new uh, functionality. Um, and and uh, that's obviously good for the committed, you know, who have, have many, however many of us are still sort of playing. I wouldn't say I'm a committed player because I'm sort of playing, you know, once, once every week. But maybe I'll, maybe I'll get a bit more into this now. Now the jousting's there and that gives you sort of different things to do. Farming is, is a little bit passive. Um, obviously, this is the jousting is obviously passive as well. Um, it reminds me a little bit of I played a bit of Zed Run, the uh, the horse racing game. And that's a sort of similar thing where you have these horses and you enter them into races and you sort of come back to see whether you won or not. Um, and that's a sort of very similar sort of wager sort of process where you're wagering, having to pay to get into a race, and then and then the winner takes the pot sort of thing. So that's the that's the sort of model going on here. But um, good to see anyway that this is um, this is happening. Um, well, this is this is the oh, this is other this is the uh, other events as well, more to do the farming side. And um, 
actually before I before I leave I should um, if I'm not using these guys I need to um, yeah okay no, sort of, okay I need to do gather so this is just basically sort of idle idle farming so the obviously the unicorns that I have in the joust I guess I am not I can't use in the farming um, but this gathering is just basically these the, you send them on a, a sort of a mission um, and they sort of bring back um, uh, oh, he's going to get better rewards for that. Okay. So, so you, they sort of just go and gathering stuff, and they, and they get you some 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 seeds. You can then you can then um, farm. So that's what's going on there. It's good to see. Um, there's a whole bunch of other stuff actually going on with Crypto Unicorns. They've got a whole bunch of Web two games, like some mobile games coming out to sort of build up the get people interested in the in the sort of IP and, and that sort of thing. Um, so those are not blockchain games. Um, these are not those are just sort of mobile games that sort of you know act as sort of uh, ways of getting people into the into the ecosystem. So. Anyway, I will keep looking. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope to see you again soon.